Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 2nd of January 2022. Bit of a late one today because we've just had a day out in Littlehampton on the south coast, just visiting some friends and went out to lunch with them. So it's all very nice, although it's a little bit uh, grey and rainy and blustery down there. But back home now, and one thing I've noticed kind of over the last couple of days, and in fact I mentioned it in a video I did a couple of days ago, is all kinds of despicable, dishonourable people are being mentioned in the New Year's honours list and in fact getting various awards. I think I mentioned that Witty was getting one a couple of days ago and more recently uh, I've just seen that Blair is supposedly getting a knighthood and who can you think of anyone less des deserving of a knighthood than that bloke? Uh, no, neither can I. And I think that's the case with a lot of people because there's a petition going around at the moment uh, from an organisation called Change.org and they have got this petition saying that he should be stripped of his award or not given it at all in the first place, whatever. But it's up to about um, 275,000 signatures at the moment, uh, which includes uh, me and Lorraine as well, and many other people we know. And I think it's one of the, as far as that particular thing is concerned, change.org, it's one of their highest ever um, kind of petitions. And I think it really demonstrates the level of feeling that these people, these utterly dishonourable people, are getting these awards, which should only be going to, really, should only be going to the most deserving in society, and they're going to the most undeserving in society. So uh, far from being honours, I'd call these things now badges of dishonour. Okay, I know there's people, there's good, hard-working people out there who sometimes get awarded these things and uh, they really do deserve it. But when they're kind of having to stand alongside the likes of Blair, I mean, it kind of really cheapens their awards, doesn't it? So that is one reason why... You know, people like Blair shouldn't be in the same category as good, honest, hard-working people who have earned these things kind of properly, uh, legitimately. So that's one of the reasons why I've signed it. And yeah, if you want to sign it, I'll leave a link to um, the petition in the description box below. So it'll be down there for you to go along and then you just fill in a couple of details and you will become yet another signature in that petition so I think it is really sort of worthwhile but it's another thing I can't understand with these honours lists is what is a conservative government because I believe it is the government who have to put the names forward isn't it to the Queen and then the Queen then sort of rubber stamps it and hands out the, the awards, whatever. But I think that's the case. So why is it that a Conservative government is giving out awards to a Labour Prime Minister, ex-Labour Prime Minister anyway? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Unless, of course, you kind of think that they're all in same club together which uh, I don't think you'd be too far wrong if you did say that but it kind of just shows you how ridiculous it is and, it, and just that one thing alone should make you smell a rat with these uh, honours so I think the New Year's honours list should be radically cleaned up you shouldn't get them just because you've given a certain party uh, X zillion pounds to the party funds. 
donations or whatever. You shouldn't get them just because you're an ex-prime minister or because you happen to be CEO of a big company. Uh, you should only get them if you've done really good, valuable work for the community or for the nation. And even then, you shouldn't have any question marks against your reputation at the same time. So if these things, you might not, yeah, you know, because they kind of come from the Queen, you might not, if you're not a royalist or you're not sort of a supporter of the Queen, you might question their validity anyway. But if the things aren't to be cheapened any further, I think the whole honours thing needs to be cleaned up big time. You know, when you also think about Blair, he is, he's been utterly disgusting as far as the whole that kind of thing is concerned, calling people who have refused to partake in that uh, all sorts of horrible names, demonising us, etc. And why is it, uh, what I can't understand is, why is it that that's not, a hate crime when people like him and Andrew Neil, Rod Stewart, Esther Ranson, and all the rest of it um, demonising the unveed. Why is it that they're not done for hate crime? Because that's what it is. That's what these people are doing. Yeah. You know, why is it these people? are getting away with what I would regard as hate crimes. And maybe if you're any kind of lawyer watching this, uh, maybe that's something you could look into. And next time one of, the, one of these people come out with hateful things against uh, the likes of us, uh, let's see if we can get them done for hate crime. So I would sort of think that Blair, right far from getting a New Year's honour, a knighthood, he should be getting court summons for hate crime. Anyway, with that thought, I'll leave it there. Back tomorrow, Tim from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching.